Greetings and thanks for stopping by my channel. Welcome to POTS, People of the Sun. I want to thank you all for stopping by today and giving me some of your time. I'm here today, family, because it's uh, a celebration day for me. Today is the 22 year anniversary of my father's transitioning. Yes, this is my daddy right here, Paul R. Curtis Sr. And, um, yeah, today's April 14th, and, um, on this day in 1999, 22 years ago today, is when he transitioned. So, I want to share a piece that he wrote back in 1981, actually. He wrote this in 1981 when my brother Lamont was slain in the streets of Baltimore. And um, he wrote this, I guess, to help him deal with, you know, the tragedy of losing a son. And um, this is the piece that he wrote. It's called Extra Sensory Perception, ESP. And it says, infant intelligence in my subconscious mind reveals to me all I need to know at every moment, every moment of time and point in space. I'm divinely inspired and divinely guided in all my ways. Divine guidance is mine now, for I recognize the lead that comes into my conscious reasoning mind. I initiatively perceive the truth about every situation. I hear the truth, see the truth, and know the truth. I can clearly see the motivation of others, and if they are ultra, I transform them by realizing the presence of God's love, peace, and harmony where discord is. Divine success is mine now. Divine peace is mine now. Divine harmony is mine now. Divine law and order are mine now. Divine peace fills my soul now. Divine love saturates my entire being now. For I am illuminated by the wisdom of God. I am clairvoyant and clairradiant from a spiritual standpoint. And, I own, and the only voice I hear is the inner voice of God who speaks in peace. And my clairvoyance is my capacity to see peace where discord is, love where hate is, joy where sadness is, peace where pain is, and life where so-called death is. By Paul R. Curtis Sr. Yeah, and my dad wrote that piece. And I also have a message from the Korean War family which occurred when 1950 to 1953. You can look that up for yourself to see when that occurred. I believe that's when it was. But while my father was there, he used to tell us different stories about what had he experienced and different things. He said, but the one thing that stuck with him a lot was this young Korean boy had said to him, and this is the way he would tell the story. The story he said, the, the young boy said to him, Papa Song, it's going to be another war. And it's going to be a war of the minds. And we going to win. And my father just looked at him. And he said, he said to him, he said, well, we just have to see about that now, won't we? So I just want to give that message out there. Because we see that they trying to pull these Jedi mind tricks on us. Talking about this black on Asian crime. And, you know, we know that it's bogus. And we know who the real criminals are around <laughs> us so and I just want to focus in on some of the pictures here that he took when he was in the Korean War and that's him in his bunk resting <laughs> and this one I want to focus in on this one let me pick this one up right here okay now you see that's my daddy with the, the guitar and that person in the middle and then right here on the end this guy is Korean. I want to show you on the back of the picture. It says, I don't know what his, the name is, it's a little bit gone, but it says Korean right there. And the other dude is from Maine, and my father was from Maryland. But yeah, just a little tidbit I wanted to grow, throw in there too that. What this young man said to him about it being a war, it's going to be a war of the minds. 
So I always say that, family, protect your minds. Keep your minds strong and know that they are trying to pull a Jedi mind trick on us with this black on Asian crime. So that's all I wanted to say for today. I'm going to enjoy my dad's day, his energy. I'm honoring him because I need his energy at this point in time, in juncture in my life. Um, yeah. And I want to thank you all for giving me some of your time and listening to me today and let me share. Here's another picture of my dad. In the army. At the Korean War. So yes, family. And, uh, I don't know, I think I'm going to wrap this up for now. And, um, oh no, I do want to say one more thing. I want to thank my new subscribers. My new subscribers, thank you so much. And if there are any new viewers that's viewing this, if you like my content, please like, share, and subscribe. And, um, you know, just thanks. And I hope y'all have a good one. Peace, love, and light. And thank you for stopping by POTS, People of the Sun.